This is a review of the 1080p Ezer webcam with the built-in ring light. This webcam was sent to me by Ezer for review. It is mine to keep, but that will not influence this review in any way. What you're going to get in this video is a fair and honest review of this product. All right, guys, I'm going to blow through a quick unboxing here. We've got a basic box with no real branding, and on the back side, we've got a spec sheet. I'll throw a photo of that spec sheet up on the screen so you can see for yourself. In the box, we got the pamphlet of instructions that nobody ever reads. And here's the webcam itself. It also comes with the flimsiest mini tripod I have ever seen in my entire life. But to be fair, I don't think you need much to support this webcam as it is extremely lightweight. The webcam is also built with the standard hinge clip that will easily allow it to be mounted to the top of a PC monitor without the use of this tripod. And the USB cable appears to be about four to five feet long. This camera was instantly picked up in Windows and nothing special had to be done. No driver installation, it's just plug and play. Adding the webcam in OBS Studio was absolutely no problem. It was picked up right away as a video input device labeled FHD Webcam. And through OBS Studio we also have a full range of different camera control options. All right, now I'm going to check and zoom to see if the webcam is detected. And there we go, it's detected right away, no problem. And here we go performing that same test in Skype. We can see that we're getting video right away from the camera. It's recognized as FHD webcam. And as we can see here, it was also instantly picked up by the Windows camera app. So this is what the Ezer webcam is going to look like, I would say, in a pretty average situation. This is a home office type setup. I've got one light turned on right here. It's an overhead desk lamp, and it's giving off a decent amount of light, but it's all focused in this one area, and I have no lighting turned on anywhere else in the room. So as you can see, the Ezer is basically introducing a lot of like fake light to compensate for that right now. And you can see like where it's hitting my hand here, it's very washed out. So webcams have really small sensors and they introduce a lot of fake lighting to compensate for that. So you'll also see that this video is pretty grainy and that's a symptom of uh, webcams introducing the fake lighting. I'm gonna turn on some studio lighting here and see if we can improve this picture at all. So I've turned on some studio lighting and this is what this camera is actually going to look like uh, with some decent lighting behind it. Now my studio lighting is wall mounted now my studio lighting is wall mounted over there, um, and I I didn't take it down, I just pointed it this direction. You could probably set up some decent lighting to get a more optimal lighting setting for this camera, but to give you an idea of the two, you can see that things aren't so washed out right now. And the built-in ring light on this webcam really doesn't offer any kind of lighting that's usable in a video scenario. It's really just an indicator that the webcam is on. And when you turn off your video capture programs, it turns that ring light off as well. So it's a good indicator that your webcam is on and feeding video somewhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is a side-by-side -side comparison of this Ezer webcam compared to a Tinvis webcam that I reviewed a few months ago and then compare that to the Raspberry Pi webcam that I built myself out of the Raspberry Pi Zero and the Raspberry Pi high quality camera kit. And we're going to take a look at all three of these in a side-by-side -side sample and we can see what kind of video quality we can expect from each of these cameras and especially putting this camera to the test. So this is the Ezer webcam that we're looking at right now. This is the Tenvus webcam. This is the Raspberry Pi webcam with the six millimeter lens. This is the camera that I built myself. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison of all three. 
this is the video quality that you can expect. And I would like to note that I really would like to be able to compare this Ezer webcam to a Logitech, which is pretty much considered the gold standard in webcams. I don't actually have a Logitech webcam to make that comparison, so this video is what it is, unfortunately. So one thing you'll notice right away is that this Ezer cam is very wide. And if you look at my tapestry that I've got on the wall back here, that's pinned to a flat wall. You can see that there's a little bit of a fisheye effect going on there. Not as bad as what I've seen in a lot of uh, webcams, but there's definitely some curvature there. I think that's not too bad though. Um, and to give you an idea of exactly how wide this shot is, I've got my um, homemade Raspberry Pi webcam mounted almost exactly the same height and right beside this thing. And I've got the six millimeter lens on the Raspberry Pi cam. And I'm gonna switch to that camera now and, and you can see how much tighter the shot is from the Raspberry Pi camera. Um, in uh, relation to the Ezer webcam. So um, for me, I personally like this kind of tight shot for what I'm doing because my, my room that I film out of is pretty small. I don't want all of the background stuff showing up in the shot there. But a lot of people really like these wide shots. So if you are into that really wide angle shot for your webcam, this will do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is switch to the onboard mic of the Ezer webcam now and see how that sounds. Most of the time, built-in mics on webcams don't sound very good. Usually they are way too low, but we're going to give this a listen and see what we think anyway. Switching over right now. Okay, so this is a mic check of the built-in microphone on the Ezer webcam. Mic check, one, two, three. Microphone check, one, two, three. To give you an idea of how far away from the mic I am, I am more than arm's length, probably about three feet away from this microphone right now. So, mic check, one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. This is a mic check of the built-in microphone of the Ezer webcam. All right, so I just took a break and gave that audio a listen, and I will say that it is definitely not the best thing I've ever heard. It was not as quiet as most webcams are, but there was definitely a lot of background hiss and rumble in that audio. So uh, maybe for some people for a conference call, it could be usable, but for somebody using that as their main mic for like a game stream, I wouldn't recommend it. And finally, guys, here is a frame rate test. This video is being recorded at 1080p, 30 frames per second in OBS, which is what the manufacturer claims that this camera can do. So here is the kind of motion blur that you can expect from this camera. One of the other features that the manufacturer claims that this webcam has is a beauty feature. And I don't know exactly what they mean by that. Um, looking at this footage, I'm, I don't know, do I look any more beautiful to you than normal? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Please, please tell me that I'm beautiful. Anyway, I don't find any way in this camera to turn that feature on or off or configure it in any way, so I'm not sure if that's something that actually exists with this camera or if it's just a sales gimmick, but I don't know. You tell me. Am I beautiful? If you're interested in purchasing this webcam, there will be links in the description below. Also in the description, Ezer has provided me with a discount code that you can use for extra savings towards this product. I'm going to wrap up this video with a shout out to my patrons. If you would like to support this channel either on Patreon or on Ko-Fi, there will be links in the description below. Donations are appreciated, but never expected. Remember, the best way to support this channel is to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time.